Hello everyone! In this video we will do the lesson number 26 from our SOLIDWORKS tutorial. So to start drawing this piece we will model first this cylinder with the option revolve on SOLIDWORKS. So what we're gonna do is draw this profile of the cylinder and then we will revolve with the reference this middle axis. So let's zoom in so we can see more clear all the dimensions. So let's go to SOLIDWORKS. Click on New File, select on Part and click OK. On Right Plane, right click and select for New Sketch. Click on Line and draw the section profile of the cylinder. Click on Smart Dimension. We know this size is equal to 100 from here to here. It's 40. This diameter 70, 75, 100, and is not specified on this shot drawing. I will assume this is 100 as well. So click on Smart Dimension. This is 200. This is 100. From here to here is equal to 40. And we're going to add a center line, which will be as a reference of the, uh, the axis of rotation of our sketch. To constrain the position of this, select the region and this line and add the relation as a midpoint. So the outer diameter is 100, that means the radius is equal to 50. This part is 70, that means radius is 35. Here is 75. If you want to if you don't want to do the math, just put 75 divided 2. Now, this is still on blue, but we know that this is equal to this, so we can just select this line, holding control key, and select this line and add the relation as a collinear. Now, click on feature and select revolve option. It say Click on axis of revolution, will be this one. Now, click OK. Now, we will add some fillets on this corner of five units. So, on future option, click on fillet, input the value of five, and select the edges. It will be this edge, rotate the piece, and this piece. You can right click and click OK. Now we will start modeling this part and then we will extrude it until here. So we can create a sketch on this face. Right click, select for new sketch, click on view orientation and select this side. We can convert entities on this view so it will work as a reference. So convert entities and we can add a point on the center of this or to make sure we can add a center line from here to here so that will be the middle point this will work for we can draw a rectangle we can add an overall shape of this and now we can start dimension so we can select this line and select this point and add the relation as a midpoint. If we want to extend those lines here and here, okay, now we can use, if you want, the train option. We know this width is equal to 56. Click on Smart Dimension and this side is equal to 56. Because the center of this, it has to be aligned. It has to be symmetric. What we can do is select this line and select this line and make it equal. Now it's all symmetric. This height 
it's equal to 16. We're just missing this part. So from the center of the circle is equal to 56. That's mean from here to here is equal to 56. Now we can apply the struth option for this. It will be struty for units. So click on future, a struth option, and it says select contour. It will be this one and this one. The value will be 40. Reverse the direction and click OK. After this, we can draw this shape, which is going to be only on this side at 20 units. So let's do that. We can create a sketch on this side, right click, select new sketch. Click on view orientation. It could be this side or this side. I will use this side. Now start drawing your sketch. Make sure this is vertical. You can convert entities these two lines. Now our sketch are closed. We know from the center to here is equal to 156. Click on Smart Dimension. 156 units. And we have a center hole here and a distance 106. Diameter is equal to 14. It's on the center. Diameter is 14. And the distance from the center is 106. So from here to here is equal to 106. Why is it still in blue? Because I haven't centered. So I can choose this point and this point and make it vertical. That's mean that it will be a line. We can click on future, a truth option, reverse the direction and input the value of 20 units. Now we can mirror this part to this part, but first, we had to draw this fillet right here, which is radius 12. So click on fillet option, input the value of 12 units, and click on this edge. Click OK. Now to mirror, we need a mid plane. Click on plane option and select this face and this face. It will create a middle plane. Now click on mirror option. The mirror plane will be this one. And the, and the components will be this fillet, this piece, and this piece. Click OK. Now it's almost done from the top part. We need now to continue drawing on the bottom part. We will proceed to model this part. To do this part, we will create a sketch on this side and we will we'll extrude a 50 unit. So let's go to the part. On this side, right click, select for new sketch. Click on view orientation and select this side. You can click online, but first let's do two concentric circles. This circle and this circle. We can make sure this circle are going to be aligned at the relation as a vertical. Add some line. This and this line. Add the relation as a tangent. This line is tangent to this circle and to this circle. Do the same. Select the line holding control key and add the relation as a tangent. Use three entities tool to delete this part of the arc. Use the tool convert entities and delete this part. Now we can start using the smart dimension. 
from here to the center is equal to 88. This is 50 or diameter or radius 25 and this is diameter 25. So click on Smart Dimension, diameter 25. This is radius 25 and from here to here is equal to 88. As see the sketch. Click on extrude option and we will extrude it 50 units. Reverse the direction and input the value of 50 units. The next step will be build this little part right here, which is not very clear because it doesn't specify if it's a square piece or if it's a cylinder full. For me, it looks more like a cylinder, like to install a bolt or a bulb or something like that. Uh, so I will create a plane, a parallel plane at 63 units, and then I will draw the cylinder and extrude it against the cylinder. So let's do that. On solid work, click on the option plane and select the first reference your parallel plane, in this case will be the top plane. Input the value of 63 units and click offset. Click OK. Now make a new sketch, right click on this plane. On view orientation, click on this side. Draw a circle, making sure it's in the middle. The distance from the center to this is equal to 60. 60 units. And the diameter is equal to 40 units. Click on Future, Extrude option, and in the draw that menu because this is too long, click for the option up to surface and select this cylinder. Now we, we have to make a hole 16 diameter. So right click on this surface to visualize the center. Click on convert entities on this arc and make a center hole. Diameter 16. Click on Fissure, extrude cut, and in the drop down menu, click up to surface. This will be the surface. Now it's not showing up because we have to select the contour. In this case, will be this one. Click OK. As we can see here, this drawing is not correct because we assume this distance. So that means this distance we assume incorrectly. Probably it should be around 60 units. So if you want to edit a drawing that you, it was already made, you can go to the sketch that you did the revolve, right click and say edit sketch. This distance, which is 100, I will lower to 60 units. Click OK. Now everything has been updated. This is the good about solid work. You can go back and go forward. We're just missing this radius fillet right here, which is 12 units. So click on future fillet option, input the value of 12, and click on this edge. Click OK. As we can see, our exercise has been all set. Thank you for watching and see you next time.